Welcome back to AppGeeker channel. Today's video is about what to do when iPhone stuck on support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore. It's very likely that when you restore or update your device, restore screen appears along with the connect to computer icon stuck on a black screen. What if the restore screen doesn't remove after a forced restart of turning off and back on? Well, it's an easy case. Please watch the video till the end and we'll show you how to fix support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore. When the screen turns black and displays support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore at the top, it means that your iPhone is in recovery mode and it cannot turn on or turn off the normal way. If this happens suddenly, it might be owing to the software issue or iOS bugs while updating or restoring iPhone. Hardware related malfunctions are also the culprits when you see support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore on the Apple restore screen. You might drop your phone that something inside the motherboard is damaged. All right now, you have four options to fix support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore without computer and data loss. First, we'll go over forcing a restart. I get a showing you force restart iPhone 13, and this also applies to iPhone 8, X or later. Okay, on my iPhone 13, I need to quickly press and release volume up button, quickly press and release volume down button, and then press and hold the side button until it restarts. Release the side button as soon as you see the Apple logo. Now your iPhone turns on and the restore screen has been removed successfully. For the earlier iPhones, I've leave the steps in the description section below. The next part is how to fix support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore stuck on the iPhone by reinstalling iOS. You just need to connect your phone to iTunes or Finder to exit the recovery mode and get it up and running again. Rest assured that you won't lose the data when updating your iPhone. Now, step 1, open iTunes and make sure it's running on its latest version. If you're on a Mac, make sure it's up to date. Step 2, connect your iPhone that's stuck on restore screen or recovery mode to your computer. You should see a message popping up, there's a problem with the, your device name, that requires it to be updated or restored. Step 3, choose update to reinstall iOS. Finder or iTunes will download the latest version of software and extract it onto your iPhone. When the update is finished, your device restarts and see, all data, apps and settings are preserved. If a restart or iOS reinstallation could not solve the restore screen problem to get past support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore page, you need to use iOS system recovery from AppGeeker. It's intelligent to identify iOS device problems, repair the mess system and restart your iPhone after reinstalling iOS without data loss. Download and install the software on your computer. Then open it and click more tools at the lower left corner. Next, click on iOS System Recovery Panel and hit the Start button. Get your malfunctioning iPhone connected to the computer using a USB cable. When you can see the detailed information of your iPhone, it should be recognized successfully even if it gets stuck on the restore screen. If not, you need to follow the on-screen instructions to re-enter recovery mode. Move on to check Standard Mode and click on Confirm button. Note that if this doesn't help, turn back here and use advanced mode to factory reset the iPhone, but it's always not necessary. Ensure that you created a backup before iPhone says support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore occurs. Next, select the latest version of firmware from the list and hit download button. Now the utility is downloading the firmware package which is used to solve the recovery mode error. Once done, the software continues extracting the software and repair your device to get it restarted to working order. The final option is check hardware failures. When support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen is lingering on your iPhone after it's badly dropped or hit, you need to bring it to the nearest Apple store to have the glitches replaced or repaired. All right, hope this video helped you get rid of the restore screen and get you back to a functional iPhone. If you have any question about how to fix support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore, feel free to drop it down the comments section below. Please hit the like button to this video and subscribe to AppGeeker channel. See you next video.